21 minutes past one. Good afternoon to you, Lifestyle Steve here with you through till three. Thank you for your company on this wet and windy Thursday afternoon. But it's always great when we get people into the studio and making it into the studio today. It's a doctor, a doctor in the house with it being Thursday and with it being health issues here on Phuket's Live 89.5's Lifestyle Show. I welcome Dr. Chan Chai to the studio. Welcome, doctor. Good afternoon. Thank you for being with us this afternoon. And uh, are you dry? Is it raining still outside when you came? Was it raining? Raining, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> now, Dr. Chan Chai, um, I've got to say you've got a really nice, happy, smiley face, which is always nice when you see the doctor. I'm very happy about that. How long have you been a doctor? Uh, m- more than 30 years. O- really? 30 yeah. years? Yeah, and yes. where, you, where are you from? I'm from Bangkok. From Bangkok. Yes. So, so why did you want to be a doctor? Um, because a uh, doctor is a professional and it's uh, difficult to s- can come to be a doctor. Mm-hmm. So I must study hard and to uh, attend to, to study medicine. Mm-hmm. And I gra- graduated from Chiang Mai University. Congratulations to you and all those yeah. years ago. Yeah. W- was anybody else in your family a doctor? No, no one. No one. Yes. So, yeah. so, so, did you have any influence at all from any members of your family why you wanted to be a doctor? Mm, I think a uh, doctor can help many people. That's right. Yeah, and and no enemy. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. Uh-huh. Yeah, and we can help everyone. Yes, but you you said to me your mother she was a missionary, wasn't she? Yes, my mother worked as missionary, and she helped many people. Such as the from Cambodia, there's uh, 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 many years ago there there's war in Cambodia, mm-hmm. and many Cambodia come to our country, mm. come to Thailand, and my mother go to help them wow. and give them food and and help them to live in Thailand. Wow! As a missionary, so I I think. If I am a doctor, I can do more than my mother. People. Yes, that's right. But that, she must have some stories to tell, I can tell you, from, from those days, many, many years ago. Well, it's lovely to have you here in the studio. Uh, and you, a, a gynecologist, will, will talk a little bit more about that. But how long have you been in Phuket then? Phuket, nearly two years, since the PPHO hospital opened. Mm-hmm. Mm. At that time, uh, my friend... Uh, Help me to come to help the hospital here mm-hmm. because they need gynecologist. So I come here since then. Now we, we we've talked off the air about Phuket as well, and I said to you, "What do you think of Phuket?" And you said, "It's beautiful." That's very interesting because obviously from Bangkok, it's a different type of city, Phuket, than what Bangkok is. Yes. Yes, Phuket is a very nice country. I think Phuket. Uh, is the um, most beautiful one of the most beautiful in the world mm. and the most beautiful in Thailand also. Wow, very uh, good. Yes, and no pollution here. That's good coming <laughs> from the doctor. The, the doctor gives it a clean bill of health, which is pretty good. Um, do you get much time to see Phuket? Because you're a very busy man, aren't you? You're always working. Working. After <laughs> working, I, I like to go to the seaside. Uh, yeah. Uh, to, to walk on the seaside and to swim on the sea, in the sea. Well, this is good. This is all coming from the doctor. So it obviously it's good if the doctor can do it. That's really good. Really Who, good. Who's endorsing it? Yeah. Uh, and we're going to talk about your profession, gynecology, very shortly here on the radio. But you've been at Phuket Provincial Hospital for two years, yeah. nearly two years. Yeah. Uh, the hospital itself is a fantastic hospital, isn't it? I think this hospital is fantastic, clean and friendly to Phuket mm. people. It's a government hospital, but look like private hospital. Right. Everything is friendly yeah, and I'm clean. I've got to say, every time someone comes into the studio, Mm -hmm. they're always smiling, very happy and nice to work Mm. there. And you all look good in their uniforms as well. Yes. But uh, so we'll talk about being a gynecologist very shortly here on Phuket's Live 89.5. We're with Dr. Chan Chai, who's from the Phuket Provincial Hospital here on Phuket's Live 89.5. 
On a Thursday, we like to bring in somebody from uh, the health side of things. And today is Phuket Provincial Hospital. Uh, Dr. Chan Chai in the studio, always smiling, always, always happy to answer my questions. And this is very difficult for the doctor because he's usually this side asking the questions to the patients. So it's, uh, it's a bit different for him. Now, Dr. Chan Chai, you're a gynecologist, is that correct? Yes. And you've been a gynecologist for 30 years. That's quite a difficult job as a doctor, huh? Uh, not difficult for me now. Not <laughs> but, but at first, maybe. Yeah, at first, maybe. Yeah. H- how have things changed? I mean, I mean, I can say over the last 30 years, things have changed medically better for, for, for doctors and whatnot. But it's still the same, isn't it? There's, there's, there's still a lot of problems, isn't there? I, I think it's changed now the... Uh, is modernized, more modernized because uh, Phuket now many tourists come here and many civilized, many uh, nightlife mm. and so the the people here pregnant so early. Really? Uh, many teenager pregnancy now. Is it higher we, than what it used to be? Uh, Phuket is the highest teenage pregnancy in the world. Really? One of the highest pregnancy of the world. Wow, so you're always going to be busy yes. then, aren't you? Yeah, yeah. about se- 17% in my hospital. Wow. Yeah. So, so so, you as a doctor then, as a gynecologist, h- how do you try, do you try and educate? I mean, who do you educate? Do you educate the mothers and fathers first and then mm-hmm. for the children and then the young children? How, how does it work? I mean, because... I mean, it's like anything else here. It's like riding the helmet. We're not having the helmet on. It's the same kind of thing. It needs education. So sex education needs probably to be a little bit better. And is it down to people like you to try and help, do you think? I think the the people that can help best is teacher. Teacher at school can contact with the student. Since uh, 10 years old, the teacher must have a sex education to the students and can tell them uh, maybe control, mm. birth control, how to control not to be pregnancy, mm. this one, and how to control not have the sexual disease. Mm. Now the HIV is very dangerous mm. for the people. It may be die soon. Mm. Mm. So a uh, teacher can give the student the first, and then uh, the father, mother, the parent also must give the education to to, to the ch- children, mm. but some parents may be shy to teach about the sex. Well, I think you, you, you've actually hit the nail on the head there. You said because teachers spend a lot of time with the children, yeah, probably as much as the parents do. So it's, it's probably a little bit easier for the teacher to try and educate. Because, as you say, parents still a little bit, I mean, we call it a taboo subject. It's still a little bit, oh, sometimes you don't know how to explain or talk about it. And I think uh, teachers is a good idea. So, so place, p- hospitals like you, do, do you encourage teachers to educate the children more? Uh, uh, if the hospital can help the teacher, maybe the, about the curriculum, uh, what to teach the student. And if we talk to the student, we, we can't go to the school to teach the student. Mm. I think to have the curriculum that uh, for the teacher to teach the mm. student. So you're saying it should be part of like the, the education process of Thailand to bring in sex education to help these young girls not become pregnant very early on, yes? Yes. Mm good and that's that's coming from somebody who knows he's been doing the job for many many years we're, doc- we're talking with dr chan chai here on phuket's live 89.5 on lifestyle for this thursday afternoon and we'll be back with him very shortly there's so many things happening at the hospital it's getting bigger and bigger isn't it yes yes now yeah. the hospital plan and uh, the patients get more and more now mm. now about 500 Outpatient uh-huh. a day. 500 outpatients a day? Uh, yes. Wow. And we have delivery about nearly 40 per month. Oh, right. 40 deliveries per month. Yeah. Yes. Okay. So how do you see things changing in the future? I mean, obviously, you'd like to see teenage pregnancies come down. 
in this part of the world, especially here in Phuket. Uh, do you think that will happen in the future? Do you think things will change? I think things will change, but the education at school will help to decrease the teenage pregnancy here. Yeah. So they need more education and more help with the education at school? Yeah, now there's a program uh, to help the teenage pregnancy in Phuket. Oh, okay, yeah. right. Yeah. So they're beginning to develop that now, uh, yes? Now. Okay. Yeah. Dr. Chan Chai, it's been wonderful speaking to you. Thank you very much indeed for speaking to us on Live 89.5 today. Thank you. And I know it's your first interview in English. Yes. Yeah, well the done, sir. Very good. You're very good. Do you want to be the DJ now? I can go, you see. <laughs> you, you can take over. Yeah. Uh, thank you very much indeed for being with us as well. How long are you going to be here in Phuket for? Another two years, three years, four years? Or don't you know? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> thank you, Dr. Chan Chai. Yeah. And take care, and we'll see you again from Phuket Provincial Hospital. Thank you. Thank you.